guys, it's Luke here and welcome back to another video. You join me here today at Auto ID with the M140i to start the interior modifications. Now, with the modification journey with this car, really, I haven't done anything with the interior and that is where things will change. Of course, the outside is drastically different. I don't think I need to remind you with everything we've done to the car and what is still to come very soon. But today, we're cracking on with the interior. I mean, the interior of the M140i is nice, but I don't think it's as nice as what it can be. So, uh, well, that's where the guys here at Auto ID are going to change things. Now, as well as the stuff which you're doing to the interior today, we are doing a couple of other little bits to the exterior, which I'll show you. I actually have all the parts in the boot at the moment, but as you can see behind me, we have a number of pretty cool cars. We've got an M2C there, another one in the workshop at the moment, and also Josh's M235i, which there is a video coming very soon on that we're doing a little feature on that which i'm really really excited to see because i mean look i mean the thing's wide body it's manual and it's running like 500 brakes so super super exciting there but anyway let's go and have a look and see what parts we got in the boot and then we'll get it inside and get to work now please do excuse the absolute filth of the back of this car because it's kind of a hatchback style just the amount of dirt you get collecting off the back here is just crazy um i mean <laughs> i cleaned it like two days ago not gonna lie but anyway in here we have Two very big boxes, one containing the interior modifications, as you will probably guess, and one other little bonus, which I'll show you in a second. But here we go then, the new brand new steering wheel, courtesy of Royal Steering Wheels. How cool is this? So to basically explain what we've gone for here, it's a full Alcantara wheel. Um, it's a direct replacement to the OEM one, so it's not like a one of those covers you can get, which basically works with the OEM wheel and basically a whole separate one. Full Alcantara, like I said, we've gone for the blue Alcantara 12 o'clock marker. So sometimes, or most of the time, you get these in leather. But I thought it would kind of feel a little bit weird when you're kind of maneuvering the wheel um, to have Alcantara and then a little bit of leather. So gone for Alcantara on there as well. And also the M stitch, which I think looks quite cool. And obviously I know this is not a fully fledged M car, but I thought that would look cool because if I come around here and show you, I mean, the stitching in the interior of the ML 40i is kind of just black. Um, and I think that that would kind of blend in too much with, um, well, with the Alcantara. So I thought I'd, I'd kind of switch it up a little bit and go for the M stitch. Now we've got a few other little bits in here as well. If I pop that carefully over there, we have the little carbon piece, which goes basically in the center of the wheel. I think that's going to be quite cool. Uh, and also another little bit, which I personally got just on Amazon quite a while ago. I'm not sure if I'm going to fit them or if they're going to stay on, um, but just some kind of cheaper little carbon bits, which basically go um, on either side where the kind of infotainment buttons and everything go. So just a little cheap thing, stick on with 3M tape. Um, but yeah, not sure if they will stay. This obviously um, replaces the kind of silvery bit uh, of trim on the wheel. So that's going to look quite cool along with the wheel. And then in the other box, we have some new double slat kidney grips, which I'm actually going to take out. This is obviously just one of them. Very nicely packaged in there. The other one is in there. Um, so yeah, let's actually kind of show you kind of the plan with this. So at the moment, of course, mine is a Shadow Edition car. So I have the black kidney grills as standard. But I do really like this style of the double slat, almost like uh, the ones you get on the fully fledged M cars. You might get on the M2C over there. Obviously, it's not going to be a massive difference, but to be honest, I think well, it's just one of those little details, right? I'm not sure which side this is, but you can basically see the difference. So we've got the double slat here and the, the thicker slat um, on the OEM one. Now this is actually going to be quite fiddly to do. Obviously the guys at Auto ID do these all the time, uh, but for someone as inexperienced as me, it would probably take a fair few hours. And there is a lot of clips, which you can see, which, well, I would probably snap, <laughs> to be honest. Um, but yeah, that is basically the plan for today's video. I think we'll probably do this last because I'm super excited to see how the wheel looks. In fact, I will show you the current one. It's, it's, I mean, it's a nice wheel. It's full leather, fairly standard, what you'd get. But I think that the, uh, the Alcantara will really set it off and will drastically change the interior. So uh, yeah, super excited about that. Please do excuse my lunch, which is kind of all over the place. Um, but yeah, actually, let's put this back in the box before it gets damaged. And then, uh, well, once the workshop is free, I've got a couple of M2 competitions having work done at the moment, and we'll pop it in and, uh, yeah, get started.
Okay, so the new double slat kidney grills are in place. Subtle difference, I mean, I know some people are probably gonna say, why did you do it? Because I had the black ones before, but these, they just add to the aggression and it kind of makes me wonder whether I should wrap the crash bars behind. Um, maybe that's something that's coming soon. A Little bit of an update with the wheel. Uh, obviously the battery is all disconnected, so I don't want to properly close the door or anything. The wheel is now off. Um, it's in the back uh, having all the, uh, what well, kind of the, the buttons and the structure of it, of the buttons, um, swapped over because that can all be swapped back. That's the airbag on the passenger seat. But, Jack's motor idea here, hello. hello. Um, basically, you've convinced me to do even more to the car, okay. right? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Another subtle change. Um, so I already had the auto ID mirror covers. But basically what we're doing now is the whole unit, right? Yeah, so this is... Uh, this is basically the upgrade package to the, the mirror caps. The mirror caps are really good um, if you want to change the look of your car. Nice, easy, simple mod. Um, the mirror units are a little bit more involved, but they're that little bit closer to the OEM kind of retrofit, um, which is north of like 700 quid if you really yeah. want to do it. So these mirror caps, are, these mirror units are really good value for money. Um, I'll give you a bit of an overview actually just to show the difference. So obviously, I'll, this all scratch, but <laughs> gives you an idea. So these are the mirror caps would look like on a base, just like this. Um, they look cool, uh, they're aggressive, but the only thing is on the inside, you can still see that they're uh, a cap on top of the yeah, cover. Yeah, it's very obvious that it's just a cap. Whereas with the mirror, mirror units, um, you've got the mirror cap, which has then got the kind of the additional design feature that is on the M2 comp, M3, M4, etc., sort of comes down here. Um, but that requires a new base and a new bezel as well on the back. So mm. that this is kind of a three-piece unit each yeah. side. So yeah, it's a six-piece kit. Um, these are probably our most popular product uh, on the store because mm. I don't know if you just look around the car as well when you actually sat in the car. Yeah, I mean when it, I'm when I'm sat in the driver's seat. Yeah. Yeah gonna look cool and that's obviously done on this side but not on the other side just because no, we so wanted to get we'll do, we'll, yeah um we'll get to work get that one finished you'll yep. see the final product in the moment sweet now because if i come back around here you'll see that it's very obvious that it's a cap um and i wanted to well obviously go for the cheaper option first just to see uh what it's like it is cool very very cool and does change the look i mean i had the gray mirrors on before so i definitely wanted to change yeah. them uh, so I mean, step they, on yeah. from the ferret grey mirrors. That's it, yeah. I mean, to be honest, I've said this to loads of people, but the fact it's a shadow edition car, you get the black kidney grills standard, but then you've got grey bits like the mirrors and the, and the diffuser. Canals. And, the, and the canals, yeah, the bottom. So they're obviously now wrapped. Um, yeah, you probably forgot that. You probably yeah, literally, yeah. yeah. It all just comes together now. I think with those double slat grills, or kidney grills, should I say. Yeah, it looks awesome. But um, yeah, things are going on uh, around the back with the wheels. So I think we'll carry on. Um, and uh, yeah, a little bit closer to completion. So the wheel is all done. Josh, the guy that did it, hello. Hi mate, Welcome to the channel. Right. You're actually the owner of the 235i. That's it, Which yeah. the video will be coming soon on that. So yeah, stay tuned for I mean, that, guys. I think an absolute beast, but you've done the, the honors of changing up the wheel. Look at that. I mean, it looked good when it was kind of just bare without any of the buttons and anything on it, but yeah. now it just looks so cool. I think once you get the trims back on, paddles back on, obviously we've switched out this nice yep. carbon fiber piece instead of the silver bit. It just looks absolutely amazing. Yeah. So we're obviously putting the wheel back on now. Um, it's got to be torqued back to factory settings. So it's about 60 to 65 Newton meters um, with the torque wrench down here. Obviously we've got the last little bits going on, which is the main bolt. Um, and then the airbag, which we'll put on which is the very last bit that goes on with the mm -hmm. last little plug. Um, and that's about it. Cool, and probably worth noting that we've kept the original paddle shifters for now. Yes. I quite like them. I mean, I know you can get quite a few other uh, different ones yeah. off the market, but they do the job and you, <laughs> you can go on for days with it, can't that's you? It. There's lots of options out there, yeah. but I think you've done the right thing so far. The wheel is the main attraction and mm. the feel you're gonna get on this with your track days, it's gonna be yeah. mental. Mental, Cannot so. wait. Anyway, I'll, uh, I'll let you concentrate, get it all yeah, fitted, and you. then um, we'll have a look at the finished piece. Such a beast. Actually, I'm really 
rarely see the car moving. Um, obviously, because I'm fairly obviously always driving it. But back outside now. Um, now I do still have those little bits of carbon, which I'm unsure whether I'm actually going to put um, on either side of the steering wheel. So I'm going to mock those up very shortly. Uh, but yeah, can't wait to see that thing. Uh, well, see how it feels when you're driving it with the steering wheel, especially. Um, a massive shout out to Auto ID for sorting out all the work and also Royal Steering Wheels for supplying the wheel as well. Absolutely buzzing and uh, well this is the start of the interior modifications and also some other exterior bits because I'm still not done with it obviously. <laughs> so let's hop in then. How good is this? Oh my days. I wish you could understand how amazing this wheel is to feel now obviously being Alcantara all the way around including the 12 o'clock marker we have the added carbon trim in here and I also have those little pieces so I bought these actually a long time ago um, just cheap on Amazon I thought you know what why not they might look good if they don't I can peel them off so that is just then mocked up obviously the same one will go on the other side I think they're quite cool now they're by no means uh, as good quality you can see that in the weave this has got a lot more definition whereas this is literally just almost like I don't know it's like painted on or something like that it's, it's, it's fake I think pretty sure it is anyway um, but yeah I think that looks quite cool but I'm unsure so I'll have a little think in a future video you might see them on you might not <laughs> but either way actually if I put that back down there and close the door with the whole mirror unit now the new mirror unit Oh, it's so nice. Honestly, to be fair, on the back, it actually makes the biggest difference because before you could still see the outline of the original mirror, whereas this is a whole different unit. So cool and actually a nice little surprise. And of course, we now have the double slat grills on the front, which make the car look even more aggressive. And like I said, I'm unsure whether I want to wrap the crash bars. So again, I might do that, I might not. Any opinions are welcome in the comments, but that is gonna wrap things up for today. So happy with how this is looking. And to be honest, there's a lot more to do with that interior. Again, a massive thank you to both Auto ID and Royal Steering Wheels for the support for today's video. Both of their links can be found down in the description down below. But yeah, that's gonna wrap things up for today. Even more mods for the 140, and trust me, there's plenty more to come where that comes from. So we're, we're just tickling the surface at the moment. We're just tickling it. Um, so yeah, keep your eyes peeled because there is a lot coming in the next month or so. Anyway, that's gonna wrap things up for me today. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please do make sure you leave a like and make sure you subscribe for all the adventures still to come. <laughs>